So hello everybody, uh, this is another edition of uh, Near Workshops. And yeah, I wanted to highlight this, this product that I was really uh, fond of. I wanted to learn a little bit more about kind of the technical backend and a little bit about the roadmap. Um, but this is a very interesting product where you can actually message and DM and create uh, group channels like Telegram um, from wallet to wallet. Um, and I found out about this uh, from the Near Social chat. So if anybody doesn't know what Near Social is, it is a uh, basically decentralized front end it's built on a social database on Near. And this integrated that. Um, and so I was really interested to see kind of um, the roadmap and uh, use the product and just raise overall awareness and then start messaging other wallets today on chatme.page. Um, so we have the founder here uh, today with us to show us uh, about the product. And yeah, if you can introduce yourself, that'd be awesome. Hello, everyone. My name is Vlad. I'm main developer of Chatme. Uh, this idea was bring a few months ago when I talk with few people so when I use near ecosystem and uh, found um, new possibilities that can be uh, implemented by using chats in your ecosystem. First of all, I start think about direct messages. For example, uh, when you uh, have some collection on Paras or another marketplace, and you wanna just connect with uh, this person and ask about selling uh, some NFT uh, if it's not listed. And another uh, ways is creating chats and publicly available channels to share information inside a near ecosystem. Uh, our main uh, part is smart contract. Uh, we use it for, for validation messages, uh, for spam protection, and uh, about technical details. Yeah, we're using Rust as a uh, language for smart contracts. Uh, user sent uh, messages to the smart contract. We don't store any data inside our smart contracts. That's why sending messages is uh, really cheap. It means we spend at seven teragas. Uh, it's almost nothing, yeah, if we compare with another transactions. And uh, when we send this message, we validate it and store in smart contract logs. Next. Uh, part of our system is the graph indexer that can help with data delivery to any account, chat, or channel. Anyone can send the request to this indexer and receive messages list with details for any chat, channel, or direct conversation. Also for files using IPFS, uh, sometimes we, for now we have small delays with uh, image uploading because IPFS uh, has some cache that should be updated, and but I think it will be fixed. It's just a regular issue when we're using IPFS. Also, we have um, different account levels. It's um, based on your needs. Yeah, you can start using Chatme for free. But for protecting uh, from spam, yeah, we decide to create uh, different account levels. And for example, free account level, if uh, this account start sending spam, another user report about spam inside uh, these messages, we can just log this account. You are also asked about our roadmaps. Uh, I don't put it to website, but it's available in our white paper. Yeah, uh, I also describe all the details how Chatme works, how we use user interface, how to send direct messages using um, our website. All these features is available uh, for developers to send messages directly using our smart contract. Uh, it means you can send messages, create groups, channels, uh, send messages into these uh, groups and channels, manage your account, uh, get a list of 
uh, if your private conversation get list of chats, all our features that you can see in our main website. Uh, also describe it here and anyone can start using and send uh, messages just by call our smart contract. Uh, to read messages, we use the graph index area. Uh, that's why uh, you can send this request, provide all fields that you need and you will receive your messages. For example, this example is by providing a unique chat ID to receive last thousand uh, messages. And about roadmap, I described in white paper for Q4, it almost done. And, uh, main, our next updates will be implementing new widgets uh, that allow uh, simply integration for any project in your ecosystem. Because for now we have just uh, one uh, widget. It is chat uh, that will be available for public private chats and channels. Uh, you can install it into your project and to use as standard React component and all of our functionality will be available inside your platform. In Q1 2023, we'll uh, provide same the same widgets, but for direct messages and for a list of all user chats that you can see in the left side of our uh, platform. We can connect using any wallet. Let's use just default near wallet. Yep, and I uh, open my dashboard that represent my information about profile. It's uh, work with near social. That's why you can open your profile, put um, all details. And all of this information will also be available in chat me or in dashboard. You also manage your account keys. We use uh, separate account keys uh, for message encoding and decoding. For example, when I have private conversation, I can send regular message. We waiting till transaction will be confirmed. Yep and message already delivered. I also can start private chat with any person, but for start uh, this conversation, uh, this person should approve uh, by request to private conversation. Yep, great. Private chat request accepted. And I can see that I am in private mode. Now my message will be encoded before sending to blockchain. And if I check near Explorer, it's, that is latest one. And my text was encoded. I have some encryption key but there is no information about original data. But in any case, I don't recommend you send passwords or any important information because uh, even this algorithm that we use, maybe in future can be somehow encrypted. Uh, more details you can find in our documentation. I also describe possible issues and have conversation in GitHub about security, about encryption 
and about this new GS encryption box library that I'm using for encryption and decryption of my private messages. Uh, yeah, and also uh, direct messages have additional functionality with sending near tokens. For example, I can send some, I don't, I think I don't have enough tokens in this test account. And I can send the image by uploading to IPFS. And and so when you upload the, the image to IPFS, that's also going to be encrypted in a private chat? Uh, not, not for now, but it's in our plan to implement it. For now, we just hide the text of message. And um, yeah, I would also like to see the public chat feature because you kind of have like a similar, I think, model mm -hmm. to Telegram announcement. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we can create chat. Let's put it private. You can upload logo. Choose private. I also can add new users to the chat or leave it without members. I'm by default, my account is group owner and I can provide uh, optional moderator who will have almost the same access level as group owner without ability to remove my group. To store uh, group, uh, we should pay uh, 0 0.25 near for data storage. Uh, this operation requires this payment because uh, we have this chat uh, that at all members list, all uh, additional chat details should be stored inside smart contract. And there uh, currently for like public chats or whatnot, there is no, um, like do, can anyone join a public chat? And then um, like also is there an ability like to encrypt that? Like how, how does that work? Uh, yeah, uh, for public chats, uh, anyone can join and send the message. Let's create public. Right group. Yeah. And if you open this link, you can share this link with anyone. Uh, this person will be uh, available to join uh, this chat. Also, all our public communities and chats is listed in public communities list and open to see all communities that is publicly available. And you can visit this group. If you don't participate in this chat, uh, you will be able to join and send uh, messages. Uh, channel, this latest uh, type is just for message broadcasting. It means that only um, group owner will be available to uh, send messages and all um, chat participants can just read without any additional permissions. So I, I, I noticed there's like here. a timer. Um, is there is that a timer next to like how, how does are are there all these are these uh these stat these these chats are stored um like forever on chain like for the public messages um 
Uh, yeah, it starts uh, forever uh, in near logs and also in uh, the graph indexer. And and so um, like how how are you dealing with the storage behind that? Like what's what's the model behind there? Like you like right now because it's not asking me. Um, it asked me to join. It asked to create um a chat. Um, like it asked it asked for some near. But like what is uh for private messages? It's not asking for any uh money. So how how does that work? How do you um how do you post information on chain and not charge the user? Yeah, when our goal is to build this system that uh, not store uh, data uh, in smart contract. I mean, do not store messages inside smart contract because it is uh, really expensive. Uh, that's why uh, we store all data in smart contract logs that don't cost anything. And uh, our uh, the graph indexer uh, just see all index logs and can deliver uh, uh, this information to all users. And, and so mean, the... Uh, the graph work as database, yeah, and collect all, uh, all uh, blockchain logs from our smart contract. And yeah, so the, uh, who, those who don't know the graph is an indexer for indexing, uh, you know, smart contract data. Um, and um, it's supported on most EVMs. Near is one of the only EVMs that it uh, also supports the non EVMs that it supports. But for the for the viewers at home that don't know what you mean by like smart contract locks, can you kind of articulate like what is a smart contract lock and then how you're able to store data on that? Uh, yeah, uh, smart contract locks is just additional tools inside one year, yeah. Uh, this data is also stored in blockchain, but uh, in, in a different way. Uh, that's why you don't need to pay uh, a lot of uh, tokens, a lot of fees to for this data storage. And uh, using uh, Indexer, uh, you can index your transactions and uh, for near blockchain uh, you also have access to uh, logs inside each your transaction it means when i send new message it is just a regular transaction uh, because i don't store this message details inside smart contract it is very cheap and in another side the graph indexer can see this data, index it, and deliver it to all users that is need this information. Yeah, for example, for users who is a message recipient, or for user who is joined you know, some public or private chats. And and so so how much data can be stored in, in smart contract locks, and like what is uh, a smart contract lock traditionally used for? Traditional usage is just for uh, some notification. It's work uh, almost like events uh, for EVM chains, yeah? For EVM chains, you have events uh, that store additional information and also can you can subscribe to these events. For near, it's almost the same, but without subscriptions. You just store some useful information, for example, um, by default, when you transfer your C or oh, an app uh, token in your ecosystem, it stores some additional information about um, this transfer. And it's like uh, just additional tools for developers, uh, more than some additional use case, but for chat and messages, Service, it really used as um, main tool for message uh, storing and delivery. And, and so, and so, like when you're um, like when when you're connecting to a smart contract, like when you did like chat me dot near, and it said 0.25 um, near, is that related to this, or is this something separate? When you uh, point uh, when you reserve 0.25 near. It's for uh, gas usage and each message 
required seven tera gas uh, from your reserved nears for gas usage. Uh, it's really one of the smallest uh, fees that I see uh, because even the fault near transaction include yeah, 300 uh, tera gas. In our case, message will cost uh, only seven tera gas. And 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 so this is, but this is unrelated to the smart contract locks and the, and the data associated with that, or is it of the same thing? Uh, it's the same because you sent a message. You uh, this seven tera gas uh, used for executing the smart contract. Our smart contract check if user can uh, send message because account can be locked if you send the spam. And also just um, add data to smart contract logs. That's why it's really cheap. And so um, you, you mentioned near social integration. So like when we, when we messaged um, and the actual title that, that came from indexing near social and the information with that, um, that you saw like near hacks, um, that, that information right there is directly related to near social. I, I wanted to get a sense of like, you mentioned widgets. So you're going to have a chat widget built on near social. And like, can you kind of outline uh, the roadmap in relation to near social? Uh, yeah, uh, we using near social uh, for user profiles. And also if you have um, profile and you follow someone in your social, you will have this address book that you can use to send messages to this uh, person who in your followers. It's uh, two main parts where we use near social. First of all, yeah, it is uh, profile details, image and name. And second one is address book. Also, this list of uh, near social integrations will be extended. Um, we have a few ideas in our Discord, it's already described. As you can see, yeah, for this example, my profile have the name and profile image uh, on near social. And we get this data each time when checking and receiving all uh, some messages. Uh, and about widget, uh, widget it is uh, that we build is separate widget. It is just uh, GitHub repositories that you can use and see details how you can implement uh, this chat functionality into your project. For now it is, uh, we don't have a separate widget on near social because our part is uh, complicated and I don't know how to um, transfer it for near social widget. And um, yeah, and, and actually this is something that I was, um, uh, there is a bunch of idealists and value boards on near social right now. They're pretty in its early phases. But one of the things I wanted to see was like a message button that took it to um, like a, a message on chat me. So that'd be great to see uh, that messaging uh, functionality there as well. And then, um, yeah, we also have a workshop with Notify this Friday, which is notifications. They just released their SDK on near. So um, even notifications built in that with the messaging, I think would be very nice. Um, one thing uh, that you mentioned was um, the ability for other people, other developers to build on top of chat me um, to index um, the graph and to uh, to make smart contract calls to post messages. So how, how, do, how does that work? How do they, uh, how would they like add encryption on? Like what, what's your envision for um, people building on top of chat me? Everything based on your needs. I recommend to start from chat me documentation that describe all details. Uh, we have dev documentation details. There is all methods that you can use. For example, to send direct messages, you call this contract name uh, that follow from networks. Yeah. We have testnet contract and mainnet. 
that's how you can call yeah and send private message for example uh, for group and channels you can send group or channel message all methods uh, by modifying information you know, follow through our smart contract and when you read uh, the data you read from um, the graph index this is method for reading private messages and this is method for reading group messages and also uh, if you need some more details you can check our chat me widget and see how it how it is written how you can call uh, receive new messages subscribe to the new messages list all these details can be found in our publicly available repository yeah and awesome. i think just try to work with uh, this platform join our discord and we will be able to help you with integration into your own project also interesting a use case that i found is storing immutable data uh, by using chat me uh, what i mean for example you need to store some articles on chain yeah uh, in one side you can uh, create simplest way it is implemented in a smart contract but you should pay for all data that you store in your smart contract. Another way um, is using ChatMe when you create private group and send, uh, for example, these message, uh, these articles as messages into your own private group. On the other side, you can read this data from group and your data will, will be just available on chain in few seconds after uh, your message, I mean, article was sent to blockchain. Yeah, I, I think that's that's an amazing use case. One thing that I'm doing on an app that I'm working on is like backing up tweets in their metadata, but like in terms, I think this is something that would really go well with like near week um, and again, like archiving articles um, and using this as a streamlined way to not only archive articles, but then have subscribers. And I think once uh, there's some type of notification integration, that'll be very convenient. And people can actually use this as a way to basically subscribe and disseminate news um, to archive information. Um, and yeah, even to archive uh, Telegram group chats, I think this that would be uh, a perfect uh, way of, of doing that. I even see potential use cases for, um, there's an idea of uh, like did aggregators, we're at like the X hacks hackathon, some of those were gone, XID, unstoppable domains, aggregates different wallets, next ID um, aggregates different wallets and has an API to connect to that. Um, in combination with like key palm and link drop, I see this as an easy way for even uh, messaging and then onboarding different wallets um, from uh, different chains. So that could be a future a future a use case as well. If someone, hey, uh, like uh, I made a link drop for you, I reserve this wallet, you can claim it um, with another wallet um, and or um, I'm messaging um, a, a, like a, a Solana wallet because I'm uh, it they have their, all their addresses linked through like a did aggregator. So that's also an interesting thing uh, to, to think about too. Um, but yeah, this this is this is a pretty pretty new chat. Like I, I just heard about it like a, a week or two ago um, from some some group chats. Um, so like um, yeah, like anyone looking to build, they they have the GitHub, they have their uh, their Git book, they have their Discord, they have their Telegram chat, they have a Twitter. Um, everything is there, um, and I'm I'm really looking forward um, to uh, people building on this, people using this um, to encrypt their messages, um, and and near social integration to come. Is there anything you'd like to add, or is anybody in the audience want to like type in a message? Um, yeah, first of all, just try to use ChatMe and join our social media 
channel, join our Discord. You can participate in the development of Chatme and even improve our existing functionality because everything that I build is open source and you can participate and uh, yeah, build your ecosystem together. Yeah, this is this is awesome. Thank you so much uh, for coming out. Um, I'm gonna make this recording uh, public a little bit later today. Uh, but yeah, I, I really I really appreciate it. Um, and um, yeah, looking looking forward to seeing this project grow. See you guys are integrating with a bunch of wallets on Wallet Selector. Um, and so yeah, it, it's it's great to see you guys um, grow from such an early stage. So thank you, uh, thank you so much for coming out.